Hi guys, Olive here, here today to talk to you about what I intend to read in July of 2019. Now that I've finished the last book off of my 10 most popular books on my TBR list, I'm currently only working on two different lists. One of those is my classics TBR, and my pick off of that TBR for July will be Vanity Fair by William Thackeray. This is an epically long tale of two drastically different female characters, all set during the Napoleonic Wars. I've been really looking forward to this one. And then the book I'll be reading off of my five-star nonfiction predictions list for this month will be The Personality Brokers by Merv Emery. This book is all about the creation of the Myers-Briggs personality test. If you've been around my channel for any length of time, you probably know that I am intensely INTJ, and I really credit the Myers-Briggs test for making me feel like less of an alien ever since I first took the test back when I was in high school. So suffice it to say, I've been really interested in learning more about how this test originated. Now on to all the other books that I would like to read during the month of July. I'm normally not the biggest fan of series. I much prefer standalones when it comes to fiction, but I really love reading fantasy books during the summertime, and sometimes it just comes with the territory that I'll have to read series if I want to consume those fantasy books. And it just so happens that I'll be starting not one, but two different fantasy series during the month of July. The first of those starts with Child of a Hidden Sea by A.M. Delamonica. This is a pirate fantasy novel that I've been super excited to read after I accidentally bought the second in the series at a library book sale. I didn't really want to start at that point in the series, so I requested this from the library, and I'm really excited to get started. And I'm also uncharacteristically planning on starting an epic fantasy series that begins with Koshiel's Dark by Jacqueline Carey. This book isn't just super long, but it's also the first in a trilogy, so it's definitely outside of my comfort zone, but I've heard so many people speak highly of this. I really want to read it. Another book in the fantasy realm, but a standalone one that I hope to read during the month of July, is Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. I absolutely loved her book Signal to Noise, so as soon as I heard about this book, which is inspired by Mexican folklore and takes place in the Jazz Age, I knew I had to get my hands on it, and I'm actually hoping to review this one for Open Letters Review. Another book that I would like to review during the month of July is called Late Migrations by Margaret Rinkle. I was very kindly sent this copy by Milkweed Editions. This is a memoir combined with nature writing that is told through a series of vignettes. I'm not quite sure anything else could be more up my alley. Another memoir I have my eye on this month is called Out East by John Glynn. This is the story of the author's experience summering in the Hamptons and all the drama that entails. I thought there could couldn't possibly be a better summer read than this, even though I'm not going to the beach. I'm also planning on buddy reading Kintu by Jennifer McCombie with Sarah at Hardcover Hearts and Jacqueline at Six Minutes for Me. This is a multi-generational Ugandan tale that I've been wanting to read for a very long time. Incorporating a bit of science nonfiction into the mix, I would also like to read Periodic Tales by Hugh Alder C. Williams, which is all about the periodic table of the elements. As terrifying as it is to admit, I'm beginning to do some research for my own novel, and I think that reading a lot of these science books will help me with my process, as pretentious as that sounds. And then lastly, I do want to read one darker book during the month of July. That book is called The Trauma Cleaner by Sarah Krasnestein. This book is all about a woman whose job it was to clean up after horrible scenes of violence and death. I know this is going to be gut-wrenching, but I am very morbidly fascinated. The only thing left to do in this TBR video is to pick the three different options for the random book off of my TBR for the month. If you've never seen me do this, what I do is go to my to-read shelf on Goodreads. I use a random number generator to select three different options. I used to be the one who would select which of these three options I would go on to read for the month, but a few months back I did hand over this choice to those viewers who are willing and able to make a pledge of support to the channel. If you would like to and are able to be a part of this, I will put the link down in the description box below to where you can go and do so. But if you're not interested or you're not financially capable, you're not going to be completely left out. You just won't hear what book wins and what my thoughts on it are until my July wrap up. So those are all the books that I'm hoping to read during the month of July. I would love to hear from you if you've read any of these books, if you've heard about them, or if you're now interested in reading them after hearing me talk about them. You can put that or any other comments or questions you may have in the comment section below. But if you prefer to chat somewhere other than YouTube, I am on a variety of different places on social media, and the links to all of my profiles are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!